U.S. Army releases design of XM-30 infantry fighting vehicle replacement for M2 Bradley. The M2 Bradley, which is currently competing on the Ukrainian battlefield, is no longer young, because this type of infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, was started to be operated by the U.S. Army in 1981. With a design that is starting to look outdated and technology that is starting to lag behind, so the U.S. Army is now starting to prepare a replacement rifle for the M2 Bradley. Quoted by Defense-Blog.com, November 13, 2023. It is reported that the U.S. Army has released a concept image of the next-generation IFV which is predicted to be able to replace the old M2 Bradley. The prototype concept, codenamed XM30, has claimed to come with comprehensive improvements, especially in overcoming the technological limitations of the M2 Bradley. The M2 Bradley, which entered service in 1981, has been trusted as a powerful infantry fighting vehicle, transporting troops across the battlefield and providing vital support to dismounted troops. However, with the advancement of war technology, the need for more technologically advanced and versatile replacements became imperative. The XM-30 is designed as a tracked armored vehicle with a focus on reconnaissance missions with enhanced protection systems, high mobility, and equipped with medium-caliber weapons for squad elements. While detailed designs have not been finalized, key features have been outlined for potential vendors to include in their prototypes requirements from the U.S. Army included space for two operators and capacity for six additional personnel, a 50M cannon with a small turret, as well as anti-tank missiles. The weapons on the XM-30 are set to incorporate state-of-the-art sensors and fire control systems. The released concept images, while deliberately unbiased about any particular contractor, offer a glimpse at the futuristic, well-protected and rugged chassis that is likely to influence the final design of the XM-30. Currently, the project is undergoing intense evaluation and competition, with General Dynamics Land Systems and a consortium led by American Rhinemetal Systems competing for a contract from the U.S. Army.